Hi everyone, it's Naomi Kanaika from GospelThroughArts.com. So the Resurrection Sunday is over. What's next? You and I, we have the resurrected power of the Holy Spirit, the power of God Himself. The Son of God sent His own Spirit to dwell inside of us. So you and I, we have the resurrected Son of God living inside of us. The, the power that raised Jesus from, from death, from the cruel death, works in us. So my brother and sister, what is the decision that you and I will live today? Will we stand faithful? Will we be obedient to his word? Will we remind ourselves that our sins are forgiven? We remind ourselves of the promises that our Lord Jesus has for you and I. Ephesians chapter 1 verses 9 to 20 says, The same power that the Father used to raise Jesus from dead is at work in us. We know that the same power that raised the Lord Jesus lives inside of us and He will fulfill, He will accomplish every purpose and promise that He has promised us. My brother and sister, is your life feeling dreadful? Is your life feeling hopeless? Is your life feeling discouraging? Remind of yourself, this generous God who laid down His life for us has given victory over sin, has given victory over health issues, has given victory over death, anything that we might be in struggle of our god deserves all the worship all the praise because he has raised us he has given us incorruptible bodies once we die we know that we will be raised up with christ jesus in first corinthians chapter 15 verse 58 it says therefore my beloved brothers be steadfast immovable always abounding in the work of the lord knowing that in the lord your labor is not in vain my brother and sister this is the truth for you and i today we know that our lord jesus raised from death we know there were so many witnesses above 500 who saw him alive after he was raised from his death so what is next for us his believers, his children, his sons and daughters, we would be steadfast, steadfast, not moving, not being sad. We know we are steadfast. No matter what we might face, struggles might come, will come. In this world, you will have tribulation. But be of good cheer. For I have overcome the world. The Lord Jesus told you and me, you will have trouble. This world is not a bed of roses. You will have trouble. But be of good cheer. Be steadfast. Because he has overcome. You and I are more than conquerors through Christ who strengthens us. My brother and sister, let us be immovable. Through the storm, through the wind, through the whatever comes our way let us be immovable faithful 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 to him always abounding in the work of the lord you might say my sister i don't have i cannot be abounding in the work of the lord i have a full day of work that i do myself whatever you do in the name of jesus christ is for the work of the lord you might be in a stressful work situation like i do in my workplace we are representatives for the kingdom of God. We are still working for the kingdom. You and I might be a mom who is to have three kids or have so many kids to look after or even one child it is so hard to look after. We are still abounding in the work of the Lord. We are raising our children in the knowledge of God, in the fear of God. We are abounding in the work of the Lord. You might be a housewife cooking, doing the house chores. You are still abounding in the work of the Lord. You're still ministering to your spouse, ministering to your family, ministering to everyone else. 
You might have elderly that you take care of. You might have siblings that you take care of. You are still abounding in the work of the Lord. You might be a grandma. You have an important role to play in your grandchildren's life, spiritual children's life. You are still abounding in the work of the Lord. While you do this, you still speak about His goodness. While you do your housework, you're still talking about His love to your neighbors, to your community, to your friends, to your family. Every call you talk, every call you take, you talk about His work that you are part of the great commission that God has called us. When Jesus was raised from the dead, the thing that he told his disciples is go into the whole world, preach the good news. You've seen me raise up from the dead. Speak to everyone about it. Will you climb on the rooftops? Will you climb on the mountains? Will you climb on your chair? Will you stand straight and steadfast and immovable? abounding in the work of the Lord and speak about his truth, his gospel to everyone. Remind yourself that your labor is not in vain. Your labor is not in vain because God rewards a grateful steward. My brother and sister, he deserves all our praise, all our worship. He is worthy, 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 magnified, glorified, honored today. He is living inside of us. Can you feel it? Can you believe it? You might see all the trees dried up. You might see not a single green leaf coming up. But be assured, in few, few weeks, <clears throat> you will see all these trees covered with green leaves. The same way. God who promised that he is coming again, is working on your behalf, fighting our battles. We are standing firm. He is fighting our battles for us. He's coming again for you and me. What a rejoicing day that will be. What a wonderful day that will be. I cannot wait till the day I meet my Savior, my God, my Lord, my Savior, worshiping, honor him bow down at his feet. <clears throat> My brother and sister, this is the great God we serve. We sang this beautiful song yesterday. You know, worship was powerful yesterday at the Lakeside Church Toronto. Word was amazing by our beloved pastor. And this song was sung and I would love to sing it with you today. It says, who is this man? Who is this man that even the wind and the waves obey? Who is this man that even the power of death can't pray? Angels and demons alike answer to his name. Jesus, Jesus. Who spoke the word that set everything in its rightful place? Who left the keys of sickness and death lying in his grave? Heaven and earth bowed down at the sound of his holy name. Jesus, Jesus, no other game gets the glory, no other name gets the praise, no other name has the power, no other name makes a way, no other, no other, no other name gets the glory, no other name gets the praise. No other name has the power. No other name makes a way. Jesus, Jesus. Power to save, power to heal, power to raise the dead. Light of the world, Lamb who was slain, Lion who rose again. Power to save, power to save, power to heal, power to raise the dead. Light of the world, Lamb who was slain, 
Lion who rose again, and his name is Jesus. Jesus, his name is Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, we come to you. Father, we thank you for resurrecting the Savior of the world, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the beautiful Lamb who was slain for our sins. Father God, we honor you, worship you, honor you. You are worthy, you are magnified, you are glorified because you have the resurrected power. And Lord, the same power that raised Jesus from the dead is living inside of us. And we are more than conquerors in everything we do. We might have a stressful day ahead of us. We might have a chaos home in our house. We might have difficult financial battles. We might have health issues, diagnosis from the doctor. Whatever it might be, God, I thank you that your power, the resurrected power of Jesus, who is working inside of us, renewing us, renewing our mind, giving us sound mind, renewing our hearts, a heart to love you. And Lord, I pray that you will renew us in body, soul, and mind today. We would go in power. We will go in authority. We will be representatives of your kingdom, of you, Jesus, as sons and daughters of you. So, Lord, I pray that you help us to seize every opportunity that comes our way to speak about your goodness, speak about your grace, speak about your love to people around us. We love you, honor you, magnify you, work in us, Lord raise the dead pieces in our hearts in our lives and cleanse us and renew us today in the mighty name of jesus we pray i hope you were blessed today my brother and sister i am so excited because we will face anything we might face today with the power of the lord jesus who is working inside of us remind yourself first corinthians chapter 15 verse 58 therefore my beloved brothers and sisters be steadfast immovable always abounding in the work of the lord knowing that the lord the work you do for the lord is not a labor that is in vain he's faithful he's so good i hope you have a wonderful wonderful monday may god bless you and have a blessed week ahead of you our god is faithful he is alive He's a lion of the tribe of Judah. As he promised, he will come again. He will come definitely for you and I. We will be with him in heaven for eternity. Death has no sting. Death has lost his power over us. Hallelujah. He is amazing. He's our God. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. I'm getting ready to go inside and start my day. God bless you all.